Is it too good to be true? I want this so much but don't know if I can trust you My mind's racing fast trying to find the red flags I'm used to All these green lights are they coming too soon? Cut between red and the green and you I'm stuck in the blue Tasha Monet Sims here with another video for you. Today we are doing the second episode of Desperate Housewives. I know it's been a long time, but things have been crazy. So I'm excited to finally be here with our second housewife, Eileen Galvez. So you saw the machinima at the beginning that showed us some drama happening in Eileen's life that goes all the way back to 15 years ago. And at the end of that machinima, you see this guy that I have down here, Jason Flint. He showed up at Eileen's house um, to visit. So basically, Jason and Eileen's husband, Sean, are old friends from their childhood. And Eileen and Sean were dating, but Eileen cheated on Sean with his friend, Jason. And like literally right before her wedding 
and Sean doesn't know anything about this. Basically, after the wedding, Jason, he went abroad and lived his life, but he is back. And the first thing he decided that he was going to do was go and visit his good old friend, Sean, and his friend's wife, Eileen, who Jason actually has some feelings for. So I added Jason into the household just so that I can control him and we can see like what's happening. But if we look here, let me see. So in the actual friendships here, like Jason still has some feelings for Eileen, which is very interesting considering, you know, he knows that Eileen is the wife of his old friend. So that's definitely something that's just, you know, like, like out of this world. But Eileen Galvez, she is a painter. She enjoys painting. We see her now. We have her painting. She's been in her little studio. What the? Excuse me? What the hell was that? But she's been in her studio just painting since he showed up. Sean, her husband, is actually like a carpenter. He does woodworking and he wants to be able to get a museum or like studio for his wife to actually do the things that she wants to do and so they have this little camper bed in their studio where they do their work for um jason to actually stay while he's visiting them and eileen and her husband like so jason's out here and he's just like i noticed you've been out here in the studio since jason showed up like we haven't seen him in 15 years aren't you happy to see him and eileen's just like yeah i guess it's great you know that he's here like he's been gone for so long like i can't believe he actually decided to come and see us after all this time like he didn't even really get the chance to spend much time with emmett before he left and Sean's just like, yeah, well, maybe you should come in the house and, like, see what he's been up to. Like, his stories have been great. And so Eileen's going to go back into the house. And she's going to sit here and actually talk to Jason. Just, like, amazed that he would actually show up after all this time. Right? Like, so she's going to come. She's going to sit. And she's just going to, you know, like, have a friendly. And she's going to ask him, like, ask him about his day be very like discreet and simple about it because you know her husband's still wandering around things like that. and she's just like so so interesting of you to come after all this time like I thought we agreed that you wouldn't be here anymore and he's just like you know that Sean is my oldest friend like why would I not come here and if we're looking at the relationship Eileen feels some feelings for Jason as well like she still has some love feelings for him too and I know this says first kiss but they've actually kissed like I don't know what's been going on with my game but Emmett, like, who's now 14 years old he's talking to his old his father's old friend and Eileen is you know like just talking to Jason and she's just like look I get that you still want to be like a part of my family's life but I really need to know what your motive is for being here and I mean I don't know where Sean went but Sean is I don't, I don't know where he is but Emmett is getting to know his parents old friend and particularly his father's old friend So they're here and, you know, Sean and Emmett are asleep. So Eileen, she's sitting as far away from Jason as she can. I mean, you know, she, she just, I don't, I'm, I'm not even on Eileen. And she's just like, look, I really need to understand, like, what are you really doing here? Like. I'm married to Sean now. Like, you were at our wedding. I have a son. Like, our son is 14 years old. And I just need to know, do you still have, like, feelings or anything for me? Like, why, after all this time, are you here? And Jason is just like, 
I obviously know that you were married to Sean and you guys have a family now, but that doesn't change how I feel about you or how I felt about you. And so they're literally cuddling in the house that she is with her husband while watching this movie. And he's just like, if you want me to leave, if you feel nothing for me, then I will go. But if for whatever reason you do feel anything for me, I'm here. And Eileen loves her husband. Like, uh, let me show you. Eileen loves her husband. I'm on Jason. Eileen, excuse me. Eileen loves her husband. Like, he is listed as her soulmate. Like, she loves him. But she also loves Jason and it's an awful I guess you can say situation to be in when you think about it because like how do you how do you and let's see what is Jason feeling in love I can't describe how I feel when I'm with this sim oh my goodness like he is in love with Eileen like I knew he was and let's see because I don't know in love I don't even know which one she's talking about because she's also in love with Sean I don't know exactly where this will go like in my head I have plans for what is going to happen and there are some crazy bombs that can be dropped but it's just like what will she do like is Eileen leaning toward the going to Jason and seeing what's going to happen like is she going to disrupt her 15 year marriage to be with a man that she has not been with in all of that time or like I just it could go in so many crazy ways like how long is this freaking movie why is she watching politicism I don't understand okay movie over movie over no more movie movie over okay goodbye movie over movie over okay so they over here like cuddling and things like that Oh, where they going? Where they going? Where he going? I don't know what she is saying to him. She's just like, look, sir, like what? What do you think this is? Like, I'm, I'm a little confused. I don't know what they doing. What is this? Oh, she's just chatting with him now. He's over there like, I know you want me, girl. He's like, I know you want me. If you did not want me, you would not have sat with me like that. And why is she hungry? Can we report this food poisoning yet? No, so we just gonna be food poisoned and we can't report the restaurant? I know you fucking lying. Oh, and so I forgot to say, I gave Eileen the gloomy trait and Eileen's been gloomy because when she married Sean, like yes, she loved Sean, she was in love with him, but she was also in love with Jason and she basically had to choose between them. Um, I am going to send Eileen to handle some of her um business here and then i'm just gonna send her to bed to sleep um let's see here so gloomy sims always seem to have a cloud hanging over them so she's feeling sad and honestly like she's sad right now like i can tell you like eileen is just struggling because the issues that she currently has is just that she is stuck between two men her husband her soulmate and a man that she never expected to fall in love with and she honestly didn't expect to see him again and now she's in this situation where it's just like what do you do and i know like when we sit back as outside observers it's just like there is this right and there is this wrong like way to handle things and while me personally i would never want to go through these things i'm also not going to say well like you know like this is just how it needs to be and if she's a good person or anything like that then that's what i just sent you some money make sure you use it wisely okay stephanie i know you're going through a divorce but thank you for giving us money because we don't got no jobs like we rely on our painting and things of that nature she sent us six simoleons. Stephanie. All right. Okay. 
and I'm actually gonna wake Eileen up now I know that she's still a little bit sleepy why is she so sad like this feeling sad okay and it's crazy because she also realizes that she has a good marriage and so like she's feeling depressed and all these things like she has a good marriage and she's really about to mess that up with what she currently has going on with Jason or what she wants to go on with Jason I don't even know how to say it I'm gonna have her go ahead and serve breakfast for everybody and I think the saddest part for Eileen is that she kind of knows that where she needs to be is with her husband like granted yes their son is 14 years old and he's old enough to understand that sometimes adults don't get along but it's not like Eileen does not want to be with her husband she loves him he is good to her he is a wonderful father and he does what he needs to do with his carpentry to make sure that they're all good but Eileen is still like struggling with this feeling that she is missing out on something because a man that she was also in love with is someone that she just cannot be with so Eileen actually has a good cooking level but she's so sad and depressed about this situation and look at Jason not making it any better for her in their house and without a shirt on and Jason and look at him he sat right next to Eileen and Sean just here like Eileen babe what's wrong like you look sad like can you tell me what's going on and Eileen's just like it's nothing Sean I just I just need a moment and Emmett is, Emmett is like mom this is the worst food you ever made what is this And Jason is just like, I know that's your husband, but I can't sit here and watch you flirt with this man. Oh, I just, I can't. She, yeah, she's sad, but I want her to go and talk to him and be like, hey, what's up? Like, why are you being like this? You know, he is my husband. You know, you know, like what's going on? Like, why? Why can't I find, oh yeah, some deep conversation. Okay, so he's gonna have one more. Okay, so she's gonna go and she's gonna talk to him. She's just like, look, you know he's my husband. You can't react like that when he's around. And he's just like, look, either you tell him what happened between us or I will. And she's like, that was 15 years ago, Jason. We are living different lives now. And he's just like, but I'm here right now you tell him or I will because Jason is just like he's having these reactions when she's with Sean and all of these things like that I'm actually going to have her to go out with Sean today so that they can not be around like Jason and things and I'm gonna have her tell him what happened all those years ago and see like what will become of that like her friends were no help Jason is a wild card while they're while he's here and so I'm actually going to have her go to the coffee house with her husband I need you to talk to me Eileen because ever since Jason has been here things have been weird and I just I don't I don't get it and he's like, okay, I understand, you know, like being sad and things like that, but you were fine before he showed up. And I just, I don't, I don't get what's going on. And she's just like, with asking for, she's going to be like, no matter what happens, like you love me, right? Like we can work through whatever it is that we need to work through. And he's like, I mean, you're my wife. Like what's the worst that you could possibly tell me? and she is going to confess to him that she cheated on him before their wedding and let's see here and so it says here cheating confession it hurts but i felt they had a right to know i hope the marriage can survive or maybe it's best to move on and let's see cheating hurts all parties involved the question is should i forgive or let go and so he is very sad now and he's okay so she's ordering something to drink too oh no look at 
I mean, he walking through the pole and everything, but look at his, he is, he is so sad. He cannot, like, because it wasn't just that his wife, well, she wasn't his wife when she cheated, but like the woman he loved cheated on him, but it was with his best friend who is in his home acting like nothing happened and Eileen feels so guilty like she never wanted to hurt Sean she didn't want things to be this way like she didn't like not at all like she really didn't want for Sean to be hurt and she feels like what is she supposed to do but what I'm going to have Sean do is I'm going to have Sean come over here like he's upset. You're but saying that you cheated on me with him. And look at them. They're right here in the middle of the coffee shop, like not even privately. And she's just like, you're saying that you cheated on me with him 15 years ago. Does that mean that it's possible that Emmett might not be my son? And Eileen, like she, she didn't even think that. Emmett might not be Sean's like she never even it never even crossed her mind that her son might not be Sean's son as well like they've raised him together since she found out that she was pregnant and he's just like but you slept with him right before our wedding and we found out you were pregnant right after our honeymoon like did that never cross your mind that Emmett might not be my son so they are back home and Sean is here I'm actually gonna have Sean confront Jason where is Jason what's he sad about caught the love of his life flirting with another I know he fucking lying he know that the love of his life is married to his best friend. Where the hell is Jason? He's going to insult him. He's going to yell at him. He's going to be like, we've been friends for I don't know how long. And you slept with the woman that I was marrying. Like, you did that to me. Like, are you insane? Like, out of your mind? And sean is basically going to tell him like you gotta leave you gotta get out of my house like you cannot be here you needs to go like you gotta go so he's gonna tell him to go away what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove jason from the household and like emmett he's around and sean doesn't even care sean is just like i cannot like you need to and Emmett is looking I mean not Emmett Sean is looking at Emmett like I can't believe he might not even be my son and she's like I raised this boy and like he might not even be my son and Jason's just like look like I love this woman too Emmett needs to get out of this conversation I think we're going to end here today. The next time we will find out like what is going to happen between Eileen and Sean. And we're also going to have it so that they do a paternity test over Emmett to see if Emmett is Sean's son or not. If he belongs to Sean or Jason. And I can tell you that like I... Well, I... I, I don't know who is Emmett's father and I am dying to just click through MCC and find out but I've been very careful about the way that I press on things so that I don't accidentally find out. Um, so I just want to thank you all for being here for this episode. I mean we did not get as much done in as much drama as I wanted but there will definitely be enough time to do so the next time that we are with Eileen and Sean and I guess Jason as well since he's in like this issue here with them. Um, but I really do just want to thank you for taking the time to watch the second episode of Desperate Housewives with me and as always, I'm sending positive vibes your way. I'm Tasha Monet. See you next time. I'm stuck in the